Okay, circle. Right. Zoom in. Hit P on your keyboard. Push pull. Type in like six or however thick you want your disk. Click three times on the object. Go to the center. Your rotate tool. The intersection of the center. Click. Click a midpoint over here. Rotate it to where it snaps. <clears throat> I go along red. And as you can see, it's a segment circle. So there's 24 segments in the standard SketchUp circle. And we're going to put lines to separate one single segment. And on the face of that segment, we're going to draw an arc. But before we draw an arc, we're going to offset it just a tad. Just a little bit. Okay. The reason we offset it is so that when we do draw our blades that they're not touching, we're gonna draw our our arc or the shape of our turbine blade within this subshape. Sub rectangle here. And now we're gonna go to the end of one, whatever direction, and we're gonna go ahead and draw another arc. A little bit away from the beginning of the first arc, but still the end of our first arc. Those those are connected. These are not. And there's a reason for this. Go ahead and make it. This is your concave portion of your turbine blade. I'm going to zoom in over here and let this open so that we could draw another arc between these two endpoints. And that will give the front front of our turbine blade a nice uh, contour. Now we just go ahead and erase our bounding box here. I call it that because it keeps our turbine blade from touching the other turbine blades. Now what you have now here is a nicely curved, properly shaped outline, or should I say template to extrude the turbine blade from. Now this is not the most advanced method known to mankind, but so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit our P key on our keyboard, P, it's our push pull tool, and it works. These are SketchUp, these are keyboard shortcuts that will make your life so much easier in SketchUp. If you're having a hard time, go ahead and learn those. We're going to extrude this. We don't want our, our blade, our turbine disc to look like shit, so we're just going to extrude it not too much because we're not making propeller and not too little because we're not making a water pump or something we're going to extrude it about one quarter of the cross section of our, our disc and we're going to click <sighs> now turbine blades as you know the inner portion of the turbine blade travels slower than the outer portion of the turbine blade which is here whenever it's spinning. Thus, the inner portion is going to need to produce more lift and gradually less lift or less thrust to the outer edge which is spinning the fastest to keep asymmet asymmetry of thrust. So what we're going to do to fix this little problem is we're going to find the middle of that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to original square that we drew on our face, on our, our single segment, we'll draw a line right through. Then you're just going to go to your x-ray mode, the thing that makes everything invisible, that doesn't really work very well. Draw a line, add on whatever axis your turbine blade is coming out on. Now go back to your regular mode, and that line, the original line that we drew through there, was just to find the midpoint, to find the center of our turbine blade so that we'll have an axis to rotate the end of our turbine blade, the leading, um, the fastest portion of it for this from the disc so that we can just rotate it using our rotate tool, which is Q by the way, that's the keyboard shortcut, get our intersection this fucking camera, I don't, some of us don't have cam studio, you know um, click, you know, 
Now go out on the opposite axis that the turbine blade was extruded from. Click on that. Now we're going to rotate it. Not too much. You want to give it a good rotation. You don't want an angle of attack to be too negative or too positive. But you want it to be more negative. You want it to be flatter than the root of the actual turbine blade. If that makes any sense. Because this portion of the turbine blade that we're rotating is the one traveling faster through the airstream. So it's not going to need as much lift. So not exactly parallel to, to the plane, but you know, pretty good. And I know it looks bad. You're probably thinking, oh, well, that's not very aerodynamic. So we're just going to hit the scale on the face on the very end of the turbine blade. We're going to hold down control. That references the center of the scale tool. I don't know how to really explain it but uh, it brings in both at the same time. If you didn't hold down control, it would just bring up. Or this way, or vice versa. So, hit scale again, hold control, then do it. And flatten it out. Now, some of you may be worried about these lines that have formed when we did that. Don't worry about the fucking lines. They make absolutely no difference in your, your end result. Now as you can see we have a turbine blade here, right? Nice and uh, whatever. And uh, it's curved, that's right. It goes into the airstream. The fastest portion, I mean the slowest portion, which needs the most lift. Faster portion on the outer outermost diameter, which doesn't need as much lift. It's flat. Voila. Alright. You're done. Delete your little reference line. Take, select the top, control click your bottom. You want to select the whole blade. Everything. That is the blade. Once everything is selected, we're going to hit our Q key for our rotate tool. We're going to, and then we're going to inference the center point of our original disc. We're going to hold down control first, then while holding down control, we're going to click one time. Now we're going to drag our line out to some point where the turbine blade face begins. We're going to click on that endpoint. And now we're going to rotate exactly one segment over. See how it rotates around? Back to back. Click. Don't do anything. Once you've clicked, that's there. Don't unclick or select or deselect anything. Now go on your keyboard and hit the multiplication sign times. Hit that button once and however many segments. 24. Since we already have one, I'm going to hit times 23 and then enter. Once you hit times 23 and enter, we have an automatic radial array that was created for us with perfectly pitched and formed turbine blades, right? <laughs> Pretty neat, I think. And just to cap it off here, I'll go ahead and uh, explain. In words here, um, what do we say? One, we created a circle. Two, isolated a single face on the circle. Um, after extrusion, of course, circle, and three, what do we do? Offsetted a single face to keep our blade distances, and four, 
What do we do? Four. <coughs> we created two arcs. Created two arcs with one side of the arc in point net. And then we wrapped it up. You know what? You get it. Any further questions? Please feel free to ask. I have had too much coffee. Bye.